guys, welcome. This is Jen Frost with Faith and Fabric. And today I want to just share one of my favorite quick quilt tips with you. Today I want to show you how to very easily spin the seams on a four patch or a four block. Um, this is one of those skills that you should always have in your back pocket and always seemed way more confusing to me than it needed to be. So um, as you know, when you make a normal four patch like the one shown here, um, sometimes you get those really thick seams on the back and then you try to either free motion around them or you try to put them on your long arm and all of a sudden it's like dunk, 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 as your needle jams in there. So today I'm going to show you how we can very quickly open up a seam um, and lay it flat and it's going to be so much easier to sew. So here's a real simple tip for you. Let's get started. So here are the fabrics we'll be working with today. You'll see I've just pre-cut these um, fabrics here into four inch by four inch blocks. Now these are from the Woodcut Blossoms line. Um, if it looks familiar, it's because we've made our pattern over here that you'll see this is our crosses three ways. And we've also made this pattern, which is our Love One Another. Now you can actually pick up a free copy of Love One Another. I'll put that link below. Um, and there's also a link to that crosses three ways. But you'll see basically these are each four inch by four inch blocks and when they're going to come together you're going to end up with this really thick seam right here because in essence you're going to have these seams pinched and these seams pinched and you don't want to just keep folding them over so we're going to spin this seam today so to get started the first thing we're going to do together is we're going to sew some of our blocks okay so i'm going to sew these guys together and these guys together and i'm going to go ahead and let you guys do the same thing So here's those blocks we just sewed together. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is set my seams. This is a great habit to get into. What that does is it just flattens out all those threads and then we're gonna open up our seams. So I'm going to keep, you'll see here's those, the little block we originally made. So I'm gonna press my seams to the darker side. Um, that's also going to help with nesting. So you'll see this one's going to go this way and this one's going to go this way. So let's do that together real quick. Press this one. and we will press this one, same thing, pressing to the darker side. That way again, your darker fabrics won't come through. Okay, so your little four blocks should look just like mine right now. Next thing we're gonna do is nest our seams and sew again. So we'll be sewing, get our seams pinched together. So when you say nest the seams, that means you're gonna just put these two seams together so they come together perfectly tight. And we're gonna just sew right along this line here. And then we'll meet back up over here and I'll show you how to spin those seams. Okay, so here we go. So here's that seam we just put in. Here's, that's gonna call that our secondary seam and here's that primary seam. This is the first one we put. So first up, we're gonna set those seams. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna open up that primary seam, but just in that little quarter inch space. So you're gonna pick that out real gentle there. Um, see, that's my blue one here. So I'm gonna remove that thread. Um, and you're going to go all the way down to where it connects right here. So I can leave that little piece. If you look real close, I can leave that piece um, because it's not impacting anything. Now I went ahead and I already removed the one on this side just because I know that watching me remove seams is not super exciting. But now you'll see what happens is when we open this up, we could now press our seams. There we go. And because we've opened that, the seam spins, okay? So... Let me show you here. So you'll see right here, you have that option, of course, of always opening it four ways, but by spinning it this way, you'll see if you look real close, this purple here, down here, has come up, and this purple here has come down. And you'll know that it's worked because you're going to end up with this tiny little space here in the middle that almost looks like a mirror image of what you have on the front. There's your little four box, okay? So that's a gentle press, not an iron. Put a nice little press here just to get everything down. And you'll see, you've got a perfectly spun seam on the front and that creates that super, super clean point right here, um, right here on the front rather. And so there's there's no overlap because we've nested, we've nested and we by spinning that seam, it's, it's perfectly flat and your needles are not going to get stuck now when you're trying to stitch over that perfectly spun little seam. So thank you guys for joining me today to make our perfectly spun little seam here on the back. 
Um, I hope this quick quilt tip comes in handy for you guys in the future. I know for me when I'm making four blocks, this is my go-to now because it's so easy, it's so fast, and it always makes this center point lie so nice and flat. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I look forward to having you join us as one of our subscribers. Leave me a question and a comment below on what you got out of this or if you spin your seams different. There's so many different techniques out there, you guys, and I always love learning from you just as I hope you enjoy learning from me. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.